Hi, fourth grade. It's Mrs. Birchfield from Juniata Gap. Today's May 5th. I'm so excited to be with you again. Yesterday, we started our new unit in reading workshop with historical fictions, and I'm so excited for it to start. The ELA teachers and myself are going to be doing something new with you each day. We are going to be doing a read aloud. Our read aloud for this unit is going to be an award-winning novel called Numbered the Stars by Lois Lowry. So we are asking that before you watch our daily lesson video that you take some time and listen to the read aloud with Mrs. Brenneman. Each day she will carry you on this journey with our characters that I know you will love. So today, if you have not listened to the read aloud, I want you to pause this video Go back to the video section, find the ELA read aloud video for today, and listen and enjoy as we start on this journey. If you have listened to it, then we're ready to get started. Today, I want to teach you that at the start of a complex text, readers often tack up information that they need to know on a mental bulletin board. Readers, I'm sure that you haven't forgotten your classrooms. And if you close your eyes and you think about that learning environment, I am sure that your teacher somewhere had a bulletin board. It had important information that they were sharing with you that they probably wanted you to remember. As we read, we make mental bulletin boards of the information that we're collecting from the author. We tack up information of who the story is about, what the problem is in the story, where is the story taking place, when is it happening, and why are the characters acting or saying certain things. We take these mental notes so that we can fit all of these pieces together and think even deeper about the story that we are reading, all the while remembering to ask the questions that analyze that text. Why does the author want me to know this? Or what, why, what was the author thinking when they wrote that part? Readers, you've already listened to chapter one of Number of the Stars, but I'm actually going to read another little piece of it to you again, because I'm gonna walk you through the process that I did when making my mental bulletin board. So take a listen as I read. Chapter one, why are you running? I'll race you to the corner, Ellen. Anne Marie adjusted the thick leather pack on her back so that her school books balanced evenly. Ready? She looked at her best friend. Ellen made a face. No, she said laughing. You know I can't beat you. My legs aren't as long. Can't we walk like civilized people? She was a stocky 10-year-old, unlike lanky Anne Marie. Let's stop there. I'm starting to make those mental notes in my head about the who, the characters in my text. So as I was reading this for the first time, I made some notes. Let me share them with you. I looked at Anne Marie and Ellen, the two characters that I'm first introduced to, and I jotted down some thoughts about what I thought might be important. Anne Marie is described as lanky, being best friends with Ellen, and I can tell that she's an eager runner. Ellen, quite different, is stocky, however, best friends with Anne Marie, and a little bit more reluctant of a runner. These are things that I think are gonna be important to, to note as I continue reading with my characters. So I tack them up in my mental bulletin board. But also readers, I jotted them down in my reading notebook because I might wanna add to these later as I'm reading kind of boxes and bullets that we've used in other units. You could make one of those for your characters, for the setting, for the problems, keeping note as you learn things along this journey. I'm gonna read another little section and I would like you to grab your notebook and a pencil and maybe jot down some things that you are taking a mental note of as we read. She was a stocky 10 year old unlike Lanky and Marie. We have to practice for the athletic meet on Friday. I know I'm going to win the girls race this week. I was second last week, but I've been practicing every day. 
Come on, Ellen, Anne-Marie pleaded, eyeing the distance to the next corner of the Copenhagen street. Please. Ellen hesitated, then nodded and shifted her own russet of books against her shoulders. Oh, all right. Ready? She said, go, shouted Anne-Marie. And the two girls were off racing along the residential sidewalk. Anne-Marie's silvery blonde hair flew behind her and Ellen's dark pigtails bounced against her shoulders. Wait for me, wailed little Kirsty left behind. But the two older girls weren't listening. Anne-Marie outdistanced her friend quickly, even though one of her shoes came untied as she sped along the street past the small shops and cafes of her neighborhood in the Northeast Copenhagen. Laughing, she skirted an elderly lady in black who carried a shopping bag made of string. A young woman pushing a baby carriage moved aside to make way. The corner was just ahead. Go ahead, readers. What are you jotting? What did you notice about that? Making mental notes that might be important for later. I noticed something about the setting. Did you notice the word Copenhagen? I knew that Copenhagen was the name of a city and it talked about the streets, talked about the residential sidewalks and shops and a cafe. So making that mental picture along with those notes of where the girls might be at. I also could go back to my chart and add that Anne Marie has blonde hair, whereas Ellen has pigtails dark pigtails. So I'm constantly thinking about what is going to be important for me to fit pieces together. Reading is like solving a puzzle. I sometimes challenge myself to see if I can figure out what's going to come next, like fitting the next big piece in on a puzzle. Okay, readers, today you'll take your 30 minutes to read, and as you read, remember, not only read analytically thinking the author probably included this part too, but also make sure you are collecting and organizing key facts, like who are the characters, what are their traits, and what's changing in the setting. Enjoy your reading today, and don't forget tomorrow before you watch your lesson to go on the next part of the journey with Mrs. Brenneman and Number the Stars. Happy reading.